Oh no, but we missed we missed my ghost of sheep whatever <laughs> review. Yes, we did. Good. Right, sum up sum up your review Ready. of Ghost of Tsushima, I think is what it's called. Samurais are cool. <laughs> That's the it. wind tells you where to go, right? Uh, the right. wind tells you where to go, and the birds are your mom. Figure that <laughs> one out. What? Wait, wait, Figure is that, your, that like, one out. Play the game. Wait, no. like, I, I'd heard that they don't have like a traditional HUD. Like you don't have like a, a life bar or shit like that. Is that how they it directs you to where you need to go? There's not like a blinking arrow. The wind blows in a direction. There, there is a traditional HUD, if you will. There is a life bar, but like so, you can set a pivot point. <laughs> But literally, like, so since this is a PlayStation exclusive game, they got to use the controller to their advantage. So when you set a point where you want to go, literally, you just like push up on the touchpad, like just your thumb, drag it up, and the wind blows in what direction you need to go. Oh, okay. Nice. If you're near something that is something you want to visit or something that can give you a buff, a golden bird comes down. And if you happen to notice it and hear its call and follow it, it will guide you to where where this buff is. All right. Okay. So the bird will be like, well, fuck you. I tried to help. <laughs> so with it being a PlayStation exclusive with PlayStation features, that of course makes me wonder, uh, how can I use my PlayStation Move? Uh, well, can do, <laughs> all right, so I'll tell you exactly how you do it with this game, Chase. Take your Take out your PlayStation Move from where you store it because you haven't been using it. You hook it up to PlayStation. You buy Ghost of Tsushima. You then put your PlayStation, unhook all that, put it away, and then play the game. Okay. You and you throw your PlayStation Move <laughs> shit in the trash. Yeah. yeah. Look, look, they, they, it was completely different from a Wii. It had a big, giant, bulbous ball at the end of it. No, it definitely <laughs> didn't give it, you know, a certain it look. Sound, yeah. <laughs> A feeling in some way. A, a big, giant, bulbous, white ball. It was completely yeah. original. You get the Call of Duty game from four years ago, and then you play PlayStation Moves with that. And that's what you... <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm going I'm, I'm to play Dead Space Extraction is what I'm going to play. Was it Extraction? It was some are game. You, that, that are you, are you going to play that? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm going to... I'm going to buy one of those things. Apparently, they go for a lot nowadays because nobody fucking kept one. And, like, they're, they're borderline a collector's item. But, yeah, I'm going, to, yeah. I'm going to find one of those just to play Dead Space Extraction. <laughs> Still packaged Wii sells for more than you think it would these days. Right. I can believe that. I mean, good on mm-hmm. Nintendo for finding a way to make it to where it's more or less uh, not impossible to pirate a game, but extremely difficult. By the way, you ever wonder why they keep making quirky new control schemes? Harder to pirate. Harder to pirate. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Oh, we'll make I mean, it all clever. touch. Screen. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll make it where touch screen is almost mandatory for all of our games, which mm-hmm. you can do on a computer, but you know. And then you get rub, rub, rabbit. <laughs> People found a way around it, though, as they always do. You only delay the inevitable. So, who wants Sounds to. Sounds like a euphemism. <laughs> inevitable of rub, rub, rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> So who wants uh, to catch us up real last quick? Last time. Uh, You're where, 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 where do we start, I'll guys? I'm not, oh. I'm not proud of it, but I'll do it. Okay. Uh, well, I, I forgot how to start. Can, can, yeah, no, no. I can, I can sum this up pretty quick. Um, Peter escaped from near certain death with the help of werewolves. Mm-hmm. We were all called to Clancy's trailer. We spent a long time determining if we wanted to torture this young man that was part of the uh, the part of the pastor's uh, Bobby cult. I'm just yeah. going to call it what it is. Well, now first, all right, hang on, go back. Peter first went back to uh, his his sensei. <laughs> that that guy was way too adept in like literally his first thing was like who to kill. Where's the body? Yeah, where's the body? <laughs> But, uh, yeah, Peter was cool with that. Then we went to Clancy's, and we spent a fair amount of time figure, like trying to torture this kid, not doing well. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Peter and Jeb had a bit of a heart-to-heart. And uh, so if it didn't come up in the video of, like, how we did this, I'll just point it out now. <laughs> Peter kind of went full Batman because he figured, <laughs> like, you know, he's the, he's the elder here. I don't even know that he, name. He, he, well, he made the choice no one else really wanted to. 
And that's going to affect him for the rest of his life, but he did it. That's really fucking so, cool to him. So Peter broke some fingers and got what he could. And uh, I, I think that kind of put the seriousness of what we're all up against maybe into focus. And uh, the last I remember, we had set up a plan to maybe re-infiltrate the, uh, the camper, and we were going to set up cameras to see if we could figure out. Because the scary thing here is we still don't know what the pastor is. But well, we do know that he's trying to groom the baby that you saw, that Peter saw in the little house to basically, you know, take up his mantle at some point when it comes of age is what. So we're trying to stop that from happening and then whatever else they might be up to if we can fucking figure it out. Which is yeah. why we're setting up the cameras to try to <laughs> yeah. figure but it the out. The scary thing to hunt is if we don't know exactly what we're hunting. We're still at a big disadvantage, so we yeah. we've got to figure this out. Well, the good thing is you have a week to do it. <laughs> oh, great. Okay, so who? Uh, what exactly is the plan? You know, we'll, we'll set the scene. We'll set the scene. It's at the Skunk Ape migration. Um, it's just uh, just around closing hours. Um, is it? All... Because I would feel Peter would feel very uncomfortable showing up there these days. Okay, how about this. They, they just... know who I am now. Well, how about this? It is just past closing hours. No one's been there for a while, but let's say you guys want to use that as a bit of a base, like maybe Peter takes, uh, you know, takes a ride there or something. Well, are we still trying to keep Jeb kind of on, like, out of their sights? I think that's still we're tr- still trying to keep him yeah. kind of insulated yeah. from that. So probably it would probably be either at the apartment building or we'd do it over, like, um, over the phone. Right, well, I have no plans for any of those, so have a good night, everybody. No, uh, yeah, we, <laughs> we, we, can, we can do it at the apartments. Um, yeah, as far as Peter's concerned, he's still a Grandmaster Roscoe's right now, like inhaling that sweet, sweet scent of teriyaki wings and <laughs> Gatorade. Oh, yeah. Fail oh, cigarettes. Just, <laughs> Absolutely. He's, he, uh, he, he gets takeout from the wing place. Uh, Maybe a little He's, too often. He whips out his, his little belt loop sriracha. <laughs> it is never hard enough for me. <laughs> so, so yeah, I, I think of by the phone conversation might be our best bet after okay. Clancy's. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Um, you uh, you kind of give uh, Grandmaster Roscoe uh, the nod, and he uh, he uh, he gives you the nod too. He's like, you know, I won't ask any questions. And he unzips his fanny pack and takes out his cell phone and wanders off into the next room to occupy himself. You? <laughs> Not in that okay. way. No, I mean, you're going to go with a Peter fanny pack and no pants. Yeah. Like, guys, oh, worry. no, he's wearing sweatpants. Give him some credit. He's wearing sweatpants <laughs> with his fanny pack. You get, but, 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 but there's definitely. Things there, you can tell what he's gonna go do in the other room. <laughs> Look, y'all's on with their. No yeah, he just happens to usually walk around wearing sweatpants and a muscle he, he shirt. Gives you the impression. <laughs> There's a rough outline of where his thoughts are. Well, well, Peter's the only one seeing this, so don't worry about it, Jim. So Peter's like texting. So. Yeah, tonight we're we got to go put those cameras in that camper, right? Yeah, but uh, how are we gonna get? How are we gonna get everybody out? Jeb, distraction? Question mark. Uh, Frank texts in to every uh, pretty much after that. He's like, you know, me and Jeb are still on the on the low end on all this. I can go separate and kind of keep a watch out. Like go go to the tent revival. And, you know, just let everybody know when everything's kind of dying down, if you want, or before. Okay. I mean, we're getting down to the wire. How about something a little more big? What if what if I set up uh, some sort of explosion in the woods? That, that will surely draw away everybody. Because the last time, like, when we watched the camper, right, it was sort of a weird stream of people there were it was never completely emptied out right. so, so yeah we need, so we we need, need to all of we them would away. Need something pretty extreme and fuck mm-hmm. okay i mean i, I mean working I, with explosives lately but 
No, but we, we do sell gunpowder uh, in small quantities. But when I literally am the distributor of small quantities, I have large quantities to sell in small quantities. So I. Somebody yes. Lamb how on. have you. How, and then Peter is actually te- like texting. How have you not become a drug slash arms <laughs> dealer before now? <laughs> <laughs> Peter, I have a heart of gold. That, 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 that. My conscience. Um. <laughs> Yeah, so, you know, set the forest on fire, which I hate doing because, you know, I love those woods, but set the forest on fire explosion or something. That's kind of where my thoughts are. I, hell, I could throw some, you know, some live rounds in there and it sounds like gunfire, and, you know, that would really pull them away. Shit, yeah. I think that's as good as a plan as we're going to fucking get. I mean, if we want to distract them, it's getting down to the wire. We need a big fucking distraction, yeah, so we can actually get in there and do what we need to do. So yeah, I think. All that's... right. Which point, Frank, hard work store now. At which point Frank said, Frank texts in, and plus the benefit is because they're on record for buying a bunch of guns, they probably aren't going to report anything. Mm-hmm. Mm. Nah. Yeah, that's good thinking. No, I mean, also, at this point, if I'm going to show up, I. would I'd rather be in their midst because I ain't showing up anywhere I care about people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, I want to go to the, the, the hardware store and, and take anything that is uh, flammable, explosive, or lively. Um, and you put that in quotation marks. Um, <laughs> you take one of your feisty new employees. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, one of the high school kids that's you know you can tell they're not going to go to college on the rough track um they might as well wow. lose a hand now instead of later right that's right that for, uh, running a carnival ride or something yeah come on ethan <laughs> i'm coming boss hey 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 I, to be fair i completely made up grandmaster roscoe you can also make up characters guys <laughs> okay with this yeah. as, as long as it works i'll roll with it <laughs> all right the, 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 the deadbeat you know high school student ethan <laughs> One second. Is this like a Kevin Smith situation? That one kid from my grade who like huffed himself dead with kerosene. Well, well it is funny because I said Ethan what? because it's like I literally had an acquaintance <laughs> well, in my in grade. grade then, yeah, we had a kid whose name is Kevin Smith in in my grade who he uh, he tried to huff kerosene. Bless him. Yeah. Didn't I, do anything except that. for excise. Wow. Oh, <laughs> I no. didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Goodness. Like, well, 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 my Ethan character is based off a guy that would blow stuff up with his brothers, but I recently read that he got arrested. Um, so, you know, For that's always up his good. brother. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, yeah, well, I saw him at Waffle House one time. I was like, dear God, it's only been like three years since high school, and those have been a rough it three years. It looks like it you. was the hardest three years ever. Yes, yes. So that, that's where Ethan comes from. <laughs> so, uh, so Jeb and Ethan are off to set all the <laughs> Oh, gosh. Yeah, we're, we're going to stockpile and stuff. Okay, okay uh, yeah, so... Uh, we meet, oh. Peter, are we going to meet, like, I guess sort of our normal parking spot near the, the Skunk Ape I, Temple? I mean, Peter, I your, think we actually need to meet, because... If I remember right, a couple of uh, sessions ago, we had a place like a, a hill we could overlook where there were kind of all the campers were and everything. Mm-hmm. It's sort of part, it's far enough back, I think, that we can. Yeah. Are we good to get to that GM or? We yeah, need... you guys are good for it. Actually, I was going to say um, Frank texts in and says, uh, who needs me the most? Mm. Well, for... Frank, you know, dad could, could be in the tent and he could give like the signal. He can be the one that like calls like when to when to go. Like he uh, gives the green light. Mm-hmm. And I was like, all right, now I think it's a good time because the tent's filled with the pastor. He's, you know, everyone's there. So he can be the inside man. It kind of gives, you know. And also we're, we're using our new tactic, which is the kind of infiltrate tactic. Mm-hmm. So. Honestly, that would probably be work best if, um, yeah, Frank is more or less with uh, you guys on the hill, so we can like. Well, you were saying I mean, they, those tactics generally take three. Yeah, that's what I'm mm, saying. Like yeah. you know, when everybody runs away, he you know he hangs back and meets you guys. 
and uh, you know, you guys can do your thing. Yeah. Not you, you, guns. You, no, he says use guys. He's from Boston. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Is he? This is, uh, this is a startling revelation. Not even Jeb knew. No, no, no. Franklin, I've never known this. <laughs> He's like, yes, I am from Boston. This is my Boston accent. <laughs> <laughs> Cockies. That's the only thing he says like that. That's <laughs> the only thing. That news guy. Right. <laughs> also, how does Frank text? Hmm? How does Frank text? Oh, he's he's got, you know, he's got like the flip phone. He does like, you know, he hits the same button like four times to get to one letter. Mm, yeah. <clears throat> I imagine he's one step above Peter. Somehow Honestly, that's... actually, he, I, he's about half a step below you. Like, um, oh, yeah, he like he's not great with technology. Like, you know, he's still got like cable and stuff like Jeb. You, Jeb, you've hooked him up with, with Netflix, but, you know, you don't think he like you've never seen like his profile ever used or anything like that. I got him a Spotify account, but it only plays the same one playlist and only that one playlist. Yeah, pretty much. Like, and it's just know, Waylon <laughs> Jennings and Willie Nelson, their duet album. <laughs> I mean, I'm terrible. I pick. <laughs> yeah, uh, Frank. He's he's not he's not great with technology, but he you know he's he's more of like you know he'd just rather do it by you know by himself. It's not the, he he might learn if he actually gave the the effort to. He just doesn't give a shit, you know. <laughs> okay. Okay. So so then we're uh, we're set up. We know where everyone's going to be. Okay. Um. <laughs> that being said, we're going to have to um. Just for a proper distraction, um, we're going to flash forward to O'Neill's after hours. The uh, the steamy neon light turns on. No, um, <laughs> and uh, but no, Ethan. He's like, all right, boss. You said you needed me. So yeah, yeah. Ethan. <laughs> I, I've heard from you know customers that you have a tendency for for exciting things. So I figured that you'd you know want to help me with this little side project. <laughs> I have a craving for the fire, sir. I can't help it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's why you're here tonight. Just uh, take these crates and uh, put them in the back of my truck and uh, come on. Don't ask too many questions. Well, you know, I do have school tomorrow, so I do have a question. Uh, are we going to kill anybody? <laughs> no, no, Ethan. No, we're, we're just going to... Um, Set fire to the woods potentially, but you'll be back oh, in time for school. Say I promise. No more. Say no more. Yeah. Hey, Ops in your passenger seat. He's just flicking a bic. <laughs> the whole oh, ride. The NPCs are like way too fucking wow. hard. This is scary. Oh my gosh. You, you could just just if you could just wait until we're actually there to, to mess with the fire. Just just, just hold so on. It's, it's just so beautiful, sir. It's so beautiful. It, it, yeah, just just wait for the, the the big show, and then it'll be even even prettier. God, uh, you and you and Ethan do uh, you, you manage to make it? Um, what the? Uh, okay, so you guys wanted to basically meet up the next day, as I recall, from like the last session, like yeah, before it all so. started, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I remember we're, right. We're meeting on a Friday night. That's it. Yeah, Friday night mm-hmm. in hopes of you know throwing a little bit of a monkey wrench in the fr- in the Saturday uh, revival. Okay, so yeah. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be late evening when you guys are pulling into near it. So yeah, roughly about how far away from the from the tent revival are you wanting to go? Are you wanting to be? Like, what's uh, the area you're scoping out for? I, I, would, I would say you know a, a hillside um, that's like maybe just one beyond, like 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 if you have hills and the tent revival is here, it's just on the other side of the hill, so it's. <clears throat> You know, you can't see the explosions or stuff, but it's plenty close enough to hear them. And hopefully it's, like, the opposite direction of where we're parked, right? Because exactly. Because we want to yeah. draw people away from. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay, so you're saying, like, it's it's close enough to where, like, they could see the explosions in the fire and hear it all? Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, it definitely, well, you got to be able to, like, you know, hear it and stuff, but it's not like, oh, yeah, there's just literally just, you know, people over there blowing things up on that hillside. It's you know, Partially it's, obscured. <laughs> Right, it's kind of like like you can maybe see some like flashes and stuff, but you're not seeing literally just like you know what I imagine are small canisters of gunpowder just you know. 
And you see, uh, <clears throat> you motion for Ethan to start unloading the back of the truck, and he's like, "This is a lot of boxes of, 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 of ammunition, sir." <laughs> Yeah, oh, and, and the, those other three, yeah, that, that's just gunpowder. Oh, and, and that's that jerry can, too. Grab that jerry can. <laughs> you know, I never knew this about you, Mr. No, Mr. O'Neill. Well, Ethan, I know things about you, and uh, you're not going to tell anyone about this, uh, about me, right? <laughs> He's like, no, I guess not, but you are going to hang out. This is, this is kind of fun. <laughs> Yo, and Ethan, if this goes well, then we can do it again sometime. <laughs> I, I can show you ways to burn things and burn everything no. down and not leave a, a single speck of evidence. You, you know, Ethan, now, now that we're talking, it seems like we have more in common about burning things down than I ever would have hoped. Um, Jeb's now recalling literally setting up a fire trap of the old house, you know, literally arson. Um, he's like, yep, yeah, you know, Ethan, I made sure to call you sooner, you know, maybe a few months ago. But, you know, let's just, let's just get uh, tonight done. And, uh so, you know, there's a, there's a lot of ancient cultures that believe that fire was both the giver of life and the taker of life. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan, the, the more we talk, the more uncomfortable I feel. So let's just uh, <laughs> keep our nose to the grindstone and uh, get this done. How about it, buddy? <laughs> you, uh, you, you, may, you may get a point to kind of keep at least one eye on him and make sure he doesn't have his pick out while he's handling all these things. Um <laughs> I am, however, going to need you to roll. Um, hmm. We will say wits, and what's a good thing to for manning explosives? Crafts. I I, I would say crafts because I'm kind of engineering a kind of a fake bomb thing. That or firearm. Okay, so I've got specialty in traps. Crafts. I mean, he's, if he's literally building a fire trap, I feel like crafts are kind of the... the yeah, I'd say crafts yeah, and, are, 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 and yeah, considering that, you know, that this is inherently dangerous, uh, it is going to be at a negative three. Oh, dude. Um, should I burn a willpower? Mm. I have this, four is, this is in relation to the hunt. Mm -hmm. If you want to risk willpower. Well, I don't want to blow my hand off, and, and I'm starting to like <laughs> Ethan, this fake character I've created, so I guess I'll burn one one willpower. Welcome to my world where I like the character I created. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's five dice total. Oh, boy, okay, two successes, one to ten. Okay, two okay. successes means two fingers make it. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> you're, you're all thumbs now. You guys want to say, can I choose what they are? <laughs> you're not gonna go birds. No, no, he's, he's just he's just nothing but thumbs. Like thumbs are super handy, except when that's all you have. Yeah. So. so you might as well just have just two pinkies. <laughs> It, you, you can tape a, a, a cup to your hand and drink it fancy now. So, no, um, <laughs> yeah, it's it's all good. Uh, no explosions. Um, no, uh, I mean, for all intents and purposes, it seems like it, uh, you know, every, everything's good to go. How exactly is this, like, going to go off? Do you have, like, like what, what's the detonation thing? Are you going to be on the hill and set it off or... Yeah, so, so you know, imagine that he has access to some fuses too, um, you know, some long fuses. Um, so Jeb just got a little and, no. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it was actually just a bike pump, and that's just kind of for the effect. It doesn't actually really do anything. And that's what he gave right, to Ethan. Start pumping. Yeah. <laughs> and the you know, explosive container just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It finally explodes. Um, no, so I imagine Jeb like has like a series of fuses. Um, and then like little canisters that like have some gunpowder and bullets in them. Uh, and they just kind of drizzle some gas here and there, just, you know, add some extra flambe. Um, so j just because I have to be that Yo, guy. You sell the like, uh, what was it? The anarchist cookbook or whatever, right? So you've been studying <laughs> up on this. <laughs> Yes, but, but 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 those are kept in the case and they sell for quite a high dollar. But <laughs> Jeff has his personal right. one. Yeah, you, yeah, we'll, we'll say that. Yeah, you got like in um, like essentially like Coke bottles full of gasoline and stuff like that, because gas is highly volatile. If you pour it within a day, it'll like evaporate and all that. But yeah, like, you know, you, you got, it's, it's going to make a boom and it's, there's going to be fire and there's going to be a, there's going to be gun, you know, gunshots. 
the good news is that when um like when ammo gets heated like that um it does shoot but it's probably not really going to kill anybody like what well, basically what happens is like it blows the 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 actual shell out mm-hmm. like it doesn't actually like you know push like the lead out so mm-hmm. like um like if you're if you ever like see like bullets that you know get in a like superheated like that it's going to hurt if they hit you but they're probably not going to kill you but it is going to sound like there's a freaking like there's a war going on and that's what we want <laughs> yeah. all right will the plan work we'll find out <laughs> <laughs> i got i got no fancy segue <laughs>